Good day. Another episode of Hyper Reviews. Uh, in this case, it's uh, Hypo James Gunn retrospective. Um, now, James Gunn, of course, has just been recently announced as the DC Studios co executive. Uh, he, of course, was working for Marvel in the first two Guardians of the Galaxy movies. The third one's coming out, I think, this year. Uh, he also did the holiday special. Um, now, for me, uh, the first time I came across James Gunn was a, a horror comedy called Slither. Um, now, for this, for me, um, I really enjoyed it uh, when it first came out. Uh, didn't pick it up on uh, to collect initially, but it's come out re redone on a Blu-ray, so I had to get the Blu-ray version. You got Nathan Fillion. You've got uh, Elizabeth Banks, I think it was, uh, in a role. You've got Michael Rooker, who's like a frequent collaborator over the years with James Gunn. Um, combination of practical and CGI. The CGI, of course, at the time doesn't really hold up now as well, but um, for its time, it did the job. Uh, but Nathan Fillion, I mean, uh, Serenity, Firefly, love the guy. Um yeah, um, there was a funny ongoing joke in the in the uh, special features. Um, yeah, that it w is worth watching. So yeah, so I just love I love missing Nathan Fillion. Um, so highly recommend that one. Now a slightly lesser known movie uh, that he did after, uh, and that was called Super. Um, uh, it was basically kind of like a vigilante movie. Um, imagine Batman without the money uh, um, uh, or the training. Um, <laughs> uh, and his one one weapon is basically... So he starts off with a wrench. Um, it's, it's got Rain Wilson, who was in The Office. Um, uh, Kevin Bacon plays a bad guy, which is cool. Um, who also features in the uh, Guardians of the Galaxy holiday special, uh, which was a good little bit of fun. Um, yeah, so it's um, the comedy for me was a little. Sometimes it's funny. Sometimes it's a little doesn't always hit the mark. Once again, Nathan Fillion, Michael Rooker appear, so it's a reteaming from Slither. Um, um, with James Gunn, uh, Nathan Fillion plays like a, uh, a superhero, a, a Christian based superhero on a TV show. So it's kind of funny. Um, yeah. So, um, yeah, the other thing I quite enjoy of James Gunn, besides Guardians of the Galaxy, which initially when I f first heard Guardians of the Galaxy for Marvel being green lit I was like mm, yeah, this could fail and then I heard James Gunn and I went oh this is gonna be fine love both of the movies great soundtracks just probably they def definitely be in my top 10 MCU movies easily but the one movie I was going to uh, uh, do a bit of a retrospective on is The Suicide Squad so um, yeah I wasn't a f I mean I'm I'm a big fan of comic books. Uh, to be honest, wasn't a fan of the uh, the first Suicide Squad movie. It had some things that I liked. Some I was like, mm. um, this one, oh, amazing. Uh, R-rated, um, comedy, uh, action. You got John Cena, who I was never a big fan of in WWE. He hit, he's basically hit his niche which is action comedy. Um, when he was trying to do action, didn't work. Uh, straight action didn't work, I found. Uh, I find uh, him in wrestling, never liked his wrestling style. Um, I liked him on the mic as a heel. Um, that was where it worked for me. Um, but yeah, uh, Idris Elba, always good. Yeah, Margot Robbie, Harley Quinn, lover. Um, Jai Colton, Aussie, fellow Aussie, uh, didn't like him as C Captain Boomerang in the first movie. I thought, even though, uh, yeah, without spoiling, uh, I thought his role, his version this time, brilliant. Uh, Pete Davidson has a role. S Sylvester Stallone, I as uh, King Shark, is almost uh, as 
or more entertaining than Groot. Um, and Starro, introducing Starro, brilliant. So check them all out.